Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. Hey guys, we're gonna craft again. I just took a paper towel roll, cut it down the middle, unrolled it and made a grid on it the best that I can measure. And now we're gonna cut out all these little squares. So once I cut them in strips, now I'm gonna cut the little squares out and put it in a bowl and set it aside. Then I just took my Mod Podge and I'm going to go around the top part of the jar leaving as much of the same amount of space as I can. I don't know if you didn't get the idea. I'm trying to make it look like bricks. So just so you get an idea, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a few rows, but I have some other stuff to add. So I won't do all of it all around, and I'll show you what I'm going to add. So basically, I had some molds of like fairy doors and stuff. So I filled in the molds with hot glue. I took out the inside of the windows thinking I wanted to see in the glass because we want this to be usable. This is going to be inside like a jar. A pretty decorated fairy jar, but we're going to use it inside. So we're going to paint it and everything pretty because it's going to be inside, not outside. And we can put stuff in it and we have the cover. So I'm going to finish going around with the, the bricks. <laughs> so here's how we're looking. We have the door and... <laughs> The window and we put some bling bling on the windows <laughs> we got our little dolly our fence and all our bricks the best we could so there we go now we're gonna paint it I'll probably paint it all a white chalk paint base coat once this all really dries and um, and then we'll go in with different colors and paint like the roses red and do some fun stuff and then we're going to have to do the top. So, of course, it has to dry, but it's looking pretty good. This window did not want to stay on, so I kind of used a little super glue, guys, um, to keep the window on, I guess, because it's such on a curve. Um, but it is super adorable. I didn't know how it would come out, but it's... <laughs> because we didn't use clay but I don't think it came out bad I actually think it's very cute um so what do you guys think and this is just with like hot glue and a paper towel roll and some paint so literally um cheap cheaper than way cheaper than buying like clays and all this stuff um so yeah and this was a mold molds I got from Amazon. I have all different molds that I would make like um, my little muffins in or I'd put chocolate in or I'd make candle um, melts. Um, but now I just realized I could put hot glue in it and make them like decorations for our arts and crafts. So yes! Anyway, we'll let this dry then we'll see what we're going to do next. So while our jar is drying, still I want to really let it dry good to see if I need another coat. I did do the cover. I just went around with some paper and then um, I put these little guys. So it's like a mushroom, an acorn, this little porcupine guy, um, a leaf, a flower. So that's it. That's what I did on the top because I figured I still got to spin it and stuff. So we'll see how this holds up. If we're going to use the top, of, um, which I do, I want to use it as a jar. So <clears throat> I didn't want to do too much to it. 
So, yeah, so we'll see how when it dries and we add a little color to this, how it's going to look. So the first thing I'm doing is just taking a little brown paint. This is from the Dollar Tree. And on a dry brush, just brushing over it to give this effect. Um, because I think that's how we'll leave that. So I can't paint to save my life, but I did manage to get some color on. Um, there's our little fairy. Um, there's our little lady. But I think it's just cute enough with just the little pops of color. Like, it really didn't come out bad. Like, you know, besides the fact that that lady is a better painter than me. Her clay ones came out pretty much the same as mine um, once it's painted. So I'm really thrilled about that. We'll do the cover and maybe a few other things and then we'll be done. So I was thinking what if we wanted to put a candle in it? And you can because I cut out the squares for the window. So, like, if you leave it on this side, you can really see the light flickering. Um, but even through, like, you know, the part that doesn't have the cardboard, you could see it. I'll show you what my cover looks like. We'll turn on the lights. So I didn't do much to the cover. I put this green thinking it would look like moss. Um, but I'm not exactly sure that it looks like moss. <laughs> but... I'm a horrible painter, guys. You guys would do better. And then I just put a bow, and I put, like, the green on the bottom, too, like, so that it looks like there's grass, but you really can't see down there anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's all I did, and I think that's the way I'll keep it. Um, yeah, because I think it's adorable. Especially, I was going to use it as, like, just a regular everyday jar but I especially like the fact that it really lights up and I would kind of use it this way um just like this as a candle holder <laughs> I don't know but yeah it's uh you could put fairy lights in here might be better and then just glue or tape the fairy light top with the on and off to the cover and that'd be good too, but I kind of like this flickering light in here. Um, yeah, so you guys let me know what you think. How did I do with this hot glue um, toilet paper roll jar? Um, not the painting. I know I'm horrible at painting, but like, you know, with the design and stuff. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and thanks for watching.